Hi everyone and welcome to your Dragon Energy reading. Okay, so I'm actually going with bracelets. These are bracelets that I have made, so they're part of my little collection. I feel that they're fiery. There's carnelian and there's some dragon blood crystals in some of them, but in this particular case, it doesn't matter what crystal is in here. I just want you to go with which one calls your name, which bracelet appeals to you. So is it bracelet one or pile one? bracelet two or pile two, bracelet three or pile three. We're going to be talking today about dragon energy. What energy are the dragons bringing in? Just like your other spirit guides, they're here to help. They're here to guide. Um, they will certainly be here for support along with God Source Universe. And the topic that uh, I asked about was unexpected twist of fate. Some other reader had done a, a reading similar to that, or I don't know if it was the actual reading itself or it was in there. And I was like, oh, that would be a good, that would be a good topic for a reading. So unexpected twist of fate. Again, we have bracelet or pile one, bracelet or pile two, bracelet or pile three. I will see you in your reading. Hi there. So those of you who chose pile one or this bracelet, which I believe is different, um, different shades of carnelian. All right. This is going to be your reading for um, unexpected twists of fate. Now, I also pull live tarot in this. I do oracle and tarot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oracle and tarot in the pile. And also I do... Um, an extra card at the end which has some questions that you can ask yourself. I love to end the dragon readings off that way and there's one actual dragon card in here that I do like to read about because the message from the dragon that energy they're sending into you and want to help you with um, is always valuable. So let's get started with an overall energy. We have the spider. Creative projects the spider creative projects. Next we have, the path isn't always a straight line. You come back to things that you thought you understood and see deeper truths. And isn't that kind of the way I'm, I'm thinking with um, being a creative, right? There's maybe always a way that you believe, a way that feels right for you to do things and you do it, do it, do it. Um, and how you get there, how you get to the end isn't always the same. But when you're creative, you don't mind coming back and looking at it again. And maybe, I don't know, I'm just, what I'm seeing in my mind is a painter and going, you know what, that needs a little bit of yellow or <laughs> whatever it may be. That's what's coming up in my mind. So anyway, let's get right into this. First card out, and this is the one that I usually read. So this is Spirit Dragon. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to actually read the message that Spirit Dragon has to say. And Spirit Dragon is here with the Ace of Cups. We have Lilac Fire Dragon. I like this. It's very purple. Purple's my favorite color. Um, and Eight of Cups. Okay. And then we have, wow. Okay, we have Scars, also very purple. <laughs> And the chariot, mm. and not so purple space, okay? And four of spears or four of wands. So unexpected twist of fate. I don't think this is a bad unexpected twist of fate because I see Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Chariot, and the Four of Spears or the Four of Wands, that's good for me, right? They're just the way it's going. So this is going to be positive, but in what way? In what way? Let's go straight in before I even read or look at any of the other cards. I want to go straight into Spirit Dragon because I want to know what that message is. I, I love reading these messages from the book. Okay. You are truly awesome and your own creator. So I love that we're talking about creativity. Spirit, which is the name of this particular dragon, appears to us when we are gathering up, 
or sorry, gearing up for another steep learning curve on our spiritual path. He connects most strongly with those who have begun to work on themselves and are well and truly underway with their spiritual journey. He, his arrival frequently precedes those whose job it is to work for the planet and humankind. The dragon spirit connects with those in, a, in particular who have embarked upon the transitional journey of deep self-healing and self-understanding and those beginning to recognize the bigger picture within the circle of life. He says, there is no you and I as separate beings. We are all one energy. If he has come into your reading or swooped into your reading today, he says, call upon my energy to support you as you prepare for the next steps of your amazing journey. You will go through a myriad of shifts and changes, self-doubt and euphoria as you embrace the next deep learning process. I am here to guide you through those shifts and changes. You are a spiritual being in physical form and you have the potential to live a soul-filled spiritual existence on earth. You are truly awesome in your own creator, so embrace what is to come on the next leg of your journey. He um, says that your job here is to watch and listen to your feelings, sudden flashes of inspiration, and as always, signs and symbols from the dragon clans. They may be subtle, so you really need to pay attention. Okay. So what I love here is that for you, Pile One, you are someone who is a creative, who's working on creative projects. Those creative projects here, according to the spirit, dragon card <laughs> okay because I, I keep wanting to say her or his name doesn't matter is spirit okay maybe dragons are genderless I really don't know I've never asked that I believe they are okay anyway there's it's never a straight line creativity so what I want to say the unexpected twist of fate is, and I'm just looking at the rest of the cards here, is if you are someone who is currently, and, and, and my feeling is, is that you already are, it was kind of confirmed here with the actual reading of this card. You are someone who is creative. You use your creative projects, your creative self, your creative being to try to help humanity in some way. It elevates you to learn. It elevates them to learn. Okay? It helps everyone elevate up. And I mean in frequency. Right? So to get us out of our three-dimensional selves into our fourth, fifth, and higher okay so what I want to say the unexpected twist of fate here is what it is that you normally have been doing is going to change let's look at the rest of the cards and see if we can figure out how but it is clear to me because with the ace of cups i mean that is creativity it's bringing more joy into your life into the lives of the collective and what i want to say is you are going to be coming up with because of this twist of fate and i don't know what it is it's going to be that turning point for you or that turnaround for you but something is going to happen and it's going to say to you you need to come up with some different ideas some more creative ways of of doing these projects or whatever it is that you do to help the collective because you will see more um more reward it will it will be more fulfilling. There will be more rewards, not only for them, but for you too. Now, I'm going to look at Lilac Fire Dragon here and transmutes through the power of divine love. Open up to transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. 
and we have scars and the chariot space and the four of spears or the four of wands. What I'm seeing here overall really, and that's the way I wanna read this, is that maybe in the past you have tried different things and you thought they were wonderful, okay? And maybe they really were but they weren't accepted. People didn't grab onto it. They didn't gravitate towards it. And it hurt a little bit, right? You know, it hurt a little bit because you were so proud of what it is that you had created here in hopes of helping, all right? But it just wasn't widely accepted for some reason. What they're asking you to do is to jump on that chariot and head out, okay? Look at everyone here with their fists, their arms up in the air, right? And it's almost like they're cheering on the dragon because I know um, with Khaleesi and the dragons, right? Often used to help, to free, um, but always to help the collective in some way, all right? So it's almost saying, you know what? You have to leave the scars. You have to leave the hurt. You have to leave the past projects that maybe didn't um, blossom or or quite do what it was that you intended for them to do. You need to leave those behind. You need to take that energy of defeat, maybe feeling a little bit sorry for yourself in the sense of, wow, I really put my heart and soul into that, but it doesn't feel like I got anywhere with it. You need to take that lower vibrational energy from those thoughts. You need to transmute it into positivity, joy, into more creativity, back into, it's almost like you're gonna transmute it back into your, <laughs> through yourself, back to yourself so that you can take the next steps, right? Walk away from that old, th those old feelings, that old energy and step back into the new energy of the Ace of Cups and continue on. And I think that's why this come out. The path isn't always a straight line. You come back to things that you thought you understood and see deeper truths or see, in this case, maybe a better way of doing things or a way that may be more receptive. That's what I want to say. And with the space card, I just want to say, allow yourself. I think of space and time, right? Allow yourself the space, the time to do it. This doesn't need to be rushed. The collective isn't going anywhere. That's what I'm hearing. They're not going anywhere. Take the, take the space, the time what you need to really put your all, because that's who you are, into these creative projects. Because I feel the, the, um, the unexpected twist of fate here is that it, it's, it's going to be, I don't know, maybe a change up of one thing that you may have thought of before and kind of dismissed. And you're like, no, no, for whatever reason, in a twist of fate, it's going to work this time. That's what I wanna to say to you, Pile One. I hope you understood that. I was trying as best I could to get that all out from what I'm seeing here. It's going to be successful for you this time around, that I know. And it could be multiple things that are gonna be successful. And I don't know what the unexpected twist of fate is, okay? But I feel you're gonna know, cause you're gonna go, it's gonna be like a light bulb moment, like a oh, I thought of that before. It's going to come back in and you're going to be like, yeah, I thought of that before. But this time, I feel like it's going to work. You need to just let go of the past hurt, the past scars. Look, we're human beings here having a human experience. We feel pain. We feel hurt. Our feelings get hurt. You know, we're let down if a big project doesn't go as planned. That's okay. You can always do it again, but you need to Really, and even check out um, any writings on the violet flame and transmutation because I think that's interesting. All right, with Saint Germain really being the alchemist. All right, um, but yeah, just walk away from past, leave it behind because you know that there's something better here going on. Let's or going to go on. Let's get some tarot. Oh well, that one came right out. Eight of Wands. That is right. You are going to figure out what it is and you are going to 
set your sights on it. You are going to aim for it. You are going to work towards it. That's who you are. You're a creative. You're always looking, right, for finding the joy in the creative process, for wanting joy in the creative process, for just being creative in general, really. Let's get a second card here. Queen of Wands. Oh, I love it. Fiery passion. Whenever I get the king or queen. With the queen, right, she's a social butterfly. We're talking about working with the collective here, okay? But she's also... The Queen of Wands is fiery. She's passionate about the things that she loves, the things that she wants to do. Um, she's also very confident in herself. So they want you to take that energy on. She's very determined in what it is that she's doing and wants to do. They want you to keep that energy um, and just be courageous because she's also courageous, cour courageous, courageous. And... Uh, and like, and like I said, determined. So take on that energy. When you're aiming, like when you're figuring out where you, where you want to take this, you set those wands towards it and you, you follow it, okay? Hmm, let's get one more card here. I really like this. And, and the whole thing is, this is unexpected. You're going to be like, huh. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I love that. Another card. You've had two aces here. Okay. This is going to be prosperous. Not necessarily monetarily. What I mean is to the people that you're trying to help. It is going to help them. All right. Because the aces are opportunities. And maybe for whatever it is that you do in your creative projects, it will be different for each of you if this is resonating. Maybe it will bring, maybe it will bring prosperity in abundance in a monetary way to, to the collective that you're trying to help, the, the group, whatever it is, the group of people, um, the uh, organization, how, however it is that you do it. The other thing with Ace of Pentacles, it's like, um, new beginnings, you might want to develop new skills. Maybe that's your creative project. You help people develop skills, whether it be, um, you know, in the home, with the family, in the workplace, it's going to help them lead and have a better life. Okay. So those are the main messages. I'm going to get this one last Oracle card here. And I, and there's always, I get it because one, they're just very pretty cards, but there's always a question or two that while you're working on this, while you're working through this pile one, these questions hopefully will help to kind of keep things in perspective for you. Okay. There's two there. I just need one. Okay. So let's, let's get it. It may even just, you know, spur you on, give you that pep in your step. Whatever it may be, it will be different for each one. This is aspiration. Okay. Aspiration. Beautiful. So it's like a dragon with butterfly wings, also in a plant. So I'm going to go in because I never guessed them correctly. I'll give you the name of the butterfly. Could be a spirit animal for you. Okay, I'm also going to give you the name of the plant. Maybe it's something you might like in your home or outside your home. And I'm going to give you the questions. So the flower is mountain pink. Okay, the butterfly is large orange sulfur. And the question to ask yourself is who do I aspire to be and why? Who do I aspire to be and why? So seeing here that you're someone who is um, using your creative talents in whatever way to help the collective, why do you aspire to do that? That's what you need to keep asking yourself sometimes if you feel like giving up or like I said, you've had some things that haven't really panned out. You keep saying, who is it that I inspire to be? That's right. This is the person who I inspire to be. Maybe the humanitarian, right? This is why I am inspired to do this. And you keep asking and answering that question for yourself as you're moving through this pile one. I hope that you enjoyed this um, reading for 
um, an unexpected twist of fate. Like I said, there's something that's going to pop in and you're going to be like, oh, wow, that's it. Okay. So uh, if you like this reading, by all means, give me a like, subscribe, share it with others if you know someone in this situation, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi to those of you who chose pile two um, and or this bracelet. This is going to be your dragon energy reading. Okay, we are doing oracle and tarot in here with an overall um with an overall energy, we're going to be doing more live tarot toward the end, as well as a final uh, oracle card, which always has a beautiful question. It's a beautiful card, but a great question that you can ask yourself while you're going through this. Pile two, the topic for today was an unexpected twist of fate. Okay, so let's see if we can kind of figure out what that unexpected twist of fate is. Sometimes it will be very clear. Other times we may not know what the exact twist is, but we'll see how it's all going to work out in the end. All right, so let's get started. Overall energy here, the Lady of the Lake. Absolute truth, courage, self-respect, responsibility. And what I know about the Lady of the Lake is she's holding the sword of truth. That's where that absolute truth is coming from, right? Self-respect, because you're, you're not just standing your truth, you're living your truth, everything. She encompasses all of that. Next, we have when you allow your inner light to shine and connect with your divine spark, there is a surge of love of self that can override all fear. So when you're living in your truth, and what did it say here? Love of self, self-respect. It overrides all fear because there's nothing to be fearful of. You're living in your truth. Other people may not like it, but you have nothing to fear from it, right? So I like that. Let's get into the other cards. We have a luminaire. I always read from the book on this one because there's always an interesting message coming from, in this case, the dragon named a luminaire, okay? Nine of coins. Emerald dragon. Justice, Time, Wheel of Fortune, Oisin, who comes out a lot. He's the, he's the big daddy of all the dragons, all right? So he's like the king of all kings, Oisin. I'm just going to say that. I um, mean, he comes out or has over the past, I guess I've only been doing this about, I don't know, eight or nine months now. He always, well, he comes out. He's been out more than once or twice, I'm going to say that, okay? With the Six of Cups. All right, let's go straight to Illuminaire and let's look and see what we have. Okay. Illuminaire. Only truth has integrity and can stand the test of time. Okay, so we see how Illuminaire is tying in here with the Lady of the Lake energy. So it says, if you have um, the Illuminaire card today, hear this message. I illuminate what can't be seen, that which is hidden within you. Your truth needs to be seen and shared. You cannot hide behind your masks forever. Your shields of false protection don't serve you. Only truth has integrity and can stand the test of time. The other thing that's interesting here, I'm seeing that Illuminaire is um, the the lady who who uh, who wrote who created this deck and wrote the book says that um, he also holds angelic as well as dragon energy, and that's why we see an angel here, and that is Archangel Uriel. So when this card comes up, it also says that a luminaire appears when we are not listening and have been resisting what needs uncovering and changing within our lives. This is usually um, of a spiritual nature, doesn't have to be right. It's going to be how it resonates. Rest assured, you are now ready to deal with whatever has been lurking in the depths of your being. Whether it's a spiritual awakening or a deep personal healing. And I'm going to jump here right now with Emerald Dragon. And it's green. 
brings in healing. So this is something to do with healing, okay? Uh, let's continue on here in truth. So it's, it's ready for that to be activated. This is the rest of his message. Spiritual warriors of earth, collectively we can change the world, although humankind is not yet ready for all of us in all our might. You and others like you are preparing the way, anchoring the light into the planet. Are you ready to continue your amazing journey of empowerment? He invites you to see the truth in all situations. Do not fear this illumination. Truth is a liberating and powerful ally. Your fears lie with change, but open your heart and welcome it to your core, allowing the light to guide you forward and bring you healing. And it's said right here, when you allow your inner light to shine and connect with your divine spark, there's a surge of self-love that can override all fear. Okay. So I'm just going to take a quick look here. I'm already getting messages coming in. So here we go, pile two. This is time. This is a time for you to stand up in your truth. And that unexpected twist of fate is, I want to say, that truth is going to be revealed. Justice is going to be had. Healing for you is going to happen. So I feel for you, pile two, you are the pile that in your life, there is a truth that's been covered up. There is a truth that is untold. There is a truth that is being denied. I'm not sure in what capacity it is for you. It could be of many different things. I just want to say that somewhere in your life, pile two, the unexpe unexpected twist of fate is that you're finally going to get the justice. You are finally going to hear that truth. And I want to say it's from someone. And you did not expect to ever hear that truth from them. Or for them to acknowledge anything for that matter. Okay? I feel that you have courageously stood up. You've spoke your truth. You're living your truth. You're not afraid anymore. Time for you hasn't healed the wound, okay? You know, when they say time heals all wounds, I don't feel that's the case for you right now because for you, maybe you've been holding back and, and not been able to heal that wound because you haven't heard that other person stand up and admit their truth for how it is that they've hurt you in some way. And with Illuminaire, this is the time to rise up, to call on him and Uriel for support, strength, and power to help get you through this situation because it's going to happen sooner than later time yeah you know it's fluid <laughs> it's hard to pinpoint time i'm just looking here on the cards to see i'm looking for it's, it's not here. I want to go with this eight, right? So is it eight days, eight weeks, eight months? Could be a timeline, but I don't really like to give them out. And I'm not feeling a message on a timeline here. I'm just going to say that there is going to be coming up the Wheel of Fortune an opportunity where you are going to be able to step into that opportunity or jump onto the wheel of that opportunity and finally hear someone, I want to say, confirm your truth, but that's not the right word, where they are going to acknowledge your truth as the truth, okay? They're finally going to admit their part. That's what I want to say. You are strong and capable and independent. We have Khaleesi here on the card. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, you know her. She was fearless, okay? She was fearless. So, and that's what absolute truth, courage, in this case, we're no longer talking Game of Thrones, but you having self-love and respect and knowing you have nothing to fear or lose if you're standing in your truth. This other person 
does and maybe that's why it's been quite a time and they've said nothing but somewhere in this lifetime for you that's what I want to say so you know don't be discouraged it may not be as long as you think you are finally going to get that healing energy okay and what you deserve and what you deserve is justice that's what I want to say about this. A bit of a different message, but that's what I feel the unexpected twist of fate is. You uh, you were never expecting this person. And, and the reason I keep pointing here, probably because I think this is uh, Sansa and Jon Snow, possibly, but Six of Cups, it's someone from your past. I don't feel it's nostalgic in a good way, though. I don't feel that it is... Um, happy memories. I really don't. I feel that they're hurtful. Uh, whatever it is that's happened, what someone said, what someone did, but it's someone coming in from your past. And you're going to rise up like the king that you are. And you're going to stand in your truth with your sword of truth and be like, I'm ready to hear it. Please say what you need to say. I've been waiting a long time for this. I feel like that's the justice you're finally going to hear the words from someone's lips. That's what I want to say. Well, it may come in the form of a letter even. It may come in the form of a, an email, a text, a phone call. I don't know. But you, you understand what I'm saying. Let's get some tarot here and see what they have to say about this situation. For you, Pile 2. Five of Wands. Yeah, it's I, I, the Five of Wands, it's... it's it's you no longer, right, getting into these, uh, mm, you no longer having to take part in petty little, you know, <laughs> I just think of fly swatting for whatever reason, just silly little arguments and, and um, disagreements about the truth, okay? You're standing in yours. And you're finally going to get the justice that you deserve with somebody finally speaking theirs. Ace of Cups. This is going to be a brand new, and Cups, Water, Emotions, Healing, right? Your heart space. This is going to be a new beginning for you when this happens. This is going to bring, this is going to open your heart space and allow for the healing to come in. Because I'm not going to say for everyone this is going to be easy hearing this truth. But it is what you need and what you deserve and what you will get. Okay, let's go for one last tarot here. Ten of Pentacles, right? The justice. You're going to get, maybe in some cases, if this, I mean, if this was a lawsuit, I don't know where that just came from. But because I'm thinking of money. Maybe it's some sort of lawsuit. Maybe it's something where somebody owes you money. Maybe um, you will get financial abundance from this. I don't know. It'll be different for everyone, okay? So for some of you, maybe that's what it is. That's This is to confirm that for you, that this is your reading, all right? Um, for others, it's just going to be you're finally going to feel like you have everything finally that you need to move on with your life it's like you've stayed it's like think of it this way you've stayed disciplined you've walked your walk talked the talk you you have been I'm almost gonna say working hard to be that person that stands in their truth and you will be rewarded for it in the end okay let's get the oracle card i was telling you about that one is beautiful but two as you're going through this situation um maybe some questions to ask yourself it could bring you comfort it could just be you know i always say the little kick in the pants to keep you going right that little boost of energy it could just be soothing and comforting for you okay it could also be a, an, a butterfly spirit animal for you. We have wisdom. Mm, with truth comes wisdom. With wisdom comes truth, right? So let's go in and take a look at wisdom here. 
There's um, one, it's a dragon with butterfly wings. The butterfly is the common map, so you may want to look up that butterfly. The flower is the purple iris. Maybe you want to bring some cut. I think irises may have they're more of a spring flower, but maybe you want to plant some in your garden for next spring. That would be a lovely uh, flower for you to have out there. I almost want to say in in memoriam of this, but you know what I mean, right? Where justice is finally going to be had and this will just be a reminder of your success and healing. But the question to ask yourself during all of this is how can I cultivate wisdom? and answer that question. If you have to ask yourself every day, if you have the same answer back every day, how can I cultivate wisdom? I want to say where you're mentally clear, right? I just am having this um, vision of where you're mentally clear, where you know that this has been a long, hard-fought road, I'm going to say for you, painful at times, difficult at times, but you are capable of getting through it. You are going to get through it. And it's being smart and intelligent and truthful with clear thinking that's, that's keeping you in this energy and that will get you through. That is your unexpected twist of fate. You are going to hear something of truth come from someone and you never thought you would. So if you like this reading pile too, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Please throw me a like, uh, subscribe if you can. If you know someone who's going through a situation like this, maybe give this reading to them because if you're hearing it, um, it was meant for you. And if you know someone, then it's meant for you to pass it along to them. So thank you so much. And I will see you in your next reading. Hi to those of you who chose pile three or this bracelet. This is going to be your dragon energy reading. Now, we have overall energy here. We have tarot and oracle in here that I'm going to be reading from for your uh, unexpected twist of fate. What is the unexpected twist of fate? This energy, this message coming in from the dragons, right? The energy that they're going to be bringing in and surrounding you with. We're going to do live tarot at the end as well as another oracle with always a thoughtful question, which I love. A flower and usually a butterfly, which could be a spirit animal for you, pile three. So let's get right into this. The first two piles have been great, not what I expected at all. So um, I love the way this reading's turning out for an unexpected twist of fate, okay? Overall energy, whoops, we don't want that one yet, is the wasp, anger, retaliation, jealousy. Okay, that doesn't sound like a real happy place to be. Mm. I almost feel like the wasp is, is feeling this way, right? Because someone's disturbing his home. Someone's disturbing his home, his being, his sanctuary. Okay, I'm just going to go with that for right now. Then we also have honor your soul path and step into your authentic self. Let your intuition inform your pathway. Okay. Let's get into each card. We have a tarot with them too. We have emergence. I always read this dragon from the book because there's always a really great message for each dragon with knight, or sorry, king of swords. Oh, I don't like the dark king. <laughs> Not the king of swords that I like. Fire dragon with 10 of swords. And traitor, okay. Courage with two of swords. Okay, you guys, there's a lot of sword energy here because, okay, I don't know, a lot of, you're up in your head. I, I'm not sure. Effort. Eight of swords. Holy moly. Okay, so we know someone's a little, a little, a little PO'd here, right? I feel like it's just this wasp, this angry wasp that's just, I don't know, angry at everything and everyone. That's what I feel like. 
I just, I'm not a fan of wasps. Maybe that's why I feel that way, but I am. I'm just kind of feeling like, oh, just angry, angry with the world, okay? That's the energy that I'm feeling off of that wasp card. But let's go straight to emergence because I love reading from those. So let's see here. We have emergence. You are responsible for your life, your behavior, and your experiences, and more importantly, how you react to them. Sometimes as spiritual beings, we find our human experience on earth can be quite tough. This is what emergence has to say. It is time to reflect. You need to take stock of what you value and what is important to you. Contemplation and quietness are required. Your experiences may have been vexing. It is unwise to dwell on them, but you can learn from them. Understand those, understand those you need to remember and let all others go. From this place, a new vibrant you can emerge. But first, you must allow yourself time to reflect, go within to that inner place of peace and bring forth that which you wish to be. Emergence appears when we need to take a, a long, hard look at ourselves and how we live, what we do, and more harshly, our behavior. He demands that we take stock of ourselves and stop kidding ourselves and are openly honest because emergence is no different. He gets straight to the nitty gritty and informs you that you are responsible for your life behavior and your experiences, and more importantly, how you react to them. Grit and determination are the order of the day um, when he finds his way into your reading. He finishes with, remember, you are safe with me. Your fears are nothing but Paper tigers and figments of your imagination allow me to guide you as you find your balance and carve a new path. Okay. Wow. So I can see how this is tying in already with the rest of these cards, right? And how come this King of Swords? Because look, as much as we didn't like in the Game of Thrones, the, the Night King, um, he was no nonsense. Uh, he was... Uh, the authority of his own of his own life he was in large and in charge he took no prisoners okay and that's kind of what emergence is saying here you have to take responsibility and be okay with who it is you are and i want to say in this case the night king was right i just feel that pile three what i'm i don't know i don't know if it's you who's angry and jealous or just angry is what I feel, just upset and bothered. But it says, burn up the lower energies around you. You are safe and protected. Be determined and inspired. Clear your pathway. The Ten of Swords, this is coming to an end for you. And I think that may be the unexpected twist of fate here. I feel that whatever it is that's happening in your life right now, you never thought it would end, okay? Okay, here we go. So what I wanna say is I'm feeling here a bit of devil energy because I'm seeing the devil card in my mind's eye, which is the card of what I wanna say um, being caught up in or addicted to things that aren't good for you, all right? And that energy is surrounding you and you know it and you don't like it, but yet you're caught in it and you don't know how to free yourself of it. But with all this swords energy, I feel like this is definitely what we could call a mental prison that you're holding yourself in. And that is what the eight of swords is, right? This is a mental prison that you're holding yourself in. You are keeping yourself there because for whatever reason, you feel you need to be there. But being there is just making you angry and upset. I almost feel with this traitor, it's like you feel like you've, I don't know, somehow duped yourself, deceived yourself into believing that you need that energy when really you don't. But what this message is here 
with the unexpected twist of fate is maybe even though you've lived your whole life this way or maybe at least your adulthood, it's not going to be forever. And I don't know, I, I was gonna say if it's someone or something that comes in, but I don't feel so, I think it's you. I think you are going to have to let yourself out of your own mental prison. You're gonna have to cut that addiction whatever to whatever it is whether it's thoughts, whether it's substance, I really have material possessions. I, I have no idea. All I know is that it's a low vibrating energy. And I believe only you within that King of Swords energy can actually break free and get yourself out of it. It's a decision that you need to make for yourself. Am I going to run around like little Arya Stark here with my um, wooden sword, the sword that I was taught to fight with um, as as a girl because I couldn't have a real one because I was a girl. And then um, I believe John gave her the needle, right? Am I going to hang on to the wooden sword because I'm out here on my own now, right? This is kind of it. Or am I going to take the, the needle and move forward um, and be able to protect myself? And I feel like you'd be protected protecting yourself. So I want to say you have a choice to make, but it is your choice. It isn't anyone else's. But you need to have the courage to make the choice because once you make it, you then have to move forward on it, right? You have to let all of this, whatever it is that you're caught up in, come to an end. It's conquering your demons effort. Yeah, you're going to have to put the effort in. This is not going to be easy. But what I love here, this is now making sense. Honor your soul path. Because I didn't really get it with this card, but I get it now. Honor your soul path and step into your authentic self. Because you know that this is not who you want to be. This lower vibrating energy. almost feeling like, a, yeah, like a traitor to yourself. Like I got myself into this. I led myself down this bad path under the guise that it was going to be good for me in some way. But I do feel like you want to put an end to it. And again, the unexpected twist of fate is that you never thought in a million years that you would ever get out of it. So when that opportunity comes for you to break free, and I don't know how because I'm not getting it unless I'm going to pull some tarot here in a minute. Uh, right now, I'm not really getting how you're breaking free from it other than your own courage. And maybe you never thought that you would ever be courageous enough. And that's kind of the, the irony here, the, the uh, unexpected twist of fate that's going to happen in your life. Okay, let's get the tarot. Pile three, I do not envy where you are right now, okay? This could be a very specific message for just a few people. I don't know. And you apply it to your life as it resonates. Don't make it fit. You know whether you're in a, in a devil energy, a low vibrating energy or not. That you never thought, whoa, that you'd be able to get out of. So this one here is the only card of all the ones that flew out. The lovers, okay, I'm going to leave it right there. And take these ones back because um, it was way too many okay so we have the lovers we have the eight of pentacles okay i like that effort conquering your demons effort you're gonna have to put the hard work in And the King of Cups. All right, you guys. I like this. Somehow, somewhere, in a twist of fate that was unexpected by you, you are either going to find a person, because there's two people here, so maybe it is someone that's going to step in and help you conquer this, okay? Or it's finding the love of self, right? Honor your soul path and step into your authentic self. You're going to no longer have 
anger, rage, disappointment, just, just angry feelings. You're going to start working on yourself because you want this to come to an end. You're going to take control. You're going to make the decision and you're going to break free out of your prison. So maybe it's self-care and love that's going to help you do this, okay? So there, there's a bit of a hint of what the unexpected twist of fate could be. But the other part of the message is you are going to have to work hard, okay? That's what this Eight of Pentacles is. If you want to succeed, there is hard work ahead of you. But I feel always with the Eight of Pentacles, that person is willing to do the work. And I feel that you are, Pile 3. And that work is going to bring you up out of that devil low vibrational energy that we were talking about here where you just kind of have to burn it all up, right? See that? Oh my gosh, remember in Game of Thrones when um, sometimes uh, Khaleesi would get them to burn things. Not always great, but you know, sometimes things needed to be burned down around you so that you could let them go. And that might need to happen. But what that's going to bring you in the end, all of this, is emotional balance. Where finally you're able to feel happiness again, feel fulfilled again, feel worthy again. Um, in emotional balance, like the King of Cups, you are going to be able to control that anger, that, mm, I, I don't know, just disappointment, whatever it is the need for retaliation, right? All of that anger, you're gonna learn because you don't wanna go back to that again. And with the King of Cups too, watery intuition, right? You are going to let, or sorry, you are going to be able to balance, I wanna say the anger with the calm, the happy with the sad. When you are angry and sad, you're not going to allow it to take over your life again. You're gonna, as it says here, let intuition inform your pathway. Love this message, a little heavy, a little hard. I, like I said, I'm sorry that you're in this situation, but I feel that this may also just be a heads up for you. Now's the time. There's a lot of sword energy here. That's a lot of mental clarity that has to be found but I feel like you're ready. And that's the important thing with that emergence card, that emergence dragon at the beginning, definitely ready. So let's just see, is there on this card, we have luck, okay? Now that's a dragon with butterfly wings. So that this butterfly could be your um, spirit animal. All right, so uh, let's find out what it is know the alphabet here oh there we go and also what this flower is around it because maybe that's something you'd like in your house or um, to plant outside I always want to say in the last pile too when it's a hard situation in remembrance of how far you've come and where you don't want to go back to so the flower is bells of Ireland and the butterfly is bicolor Commodore Here's the question to ask yourself during this. What situation can I create to attract more luck? What situation can I create to attract more luck? So I wanna say rather than attracting things that are low energy and bringing you down, you wanna attract things that are going to bring abundance to your life joy to your life, creativity to your life. To me, that's what luck is. Sagittarius, ninth house, <laughs> Jupiter, okay, right? What can I bring in um, large and loud that's going to benefit me and be for my highest good? So that is your message, Pile 3. Thank you for being here. If this resonated, please throw me a like, subscribe to the channel. If you know someone who's in this just angry horrible place right now, please send this message to them and I will see you in the next reading.